Farley and Matsandi and his V8 GT 2005. Extravagant one-off by Italian coach builders Walter Farley and Luca Mazzanti, and his is rolling sculpture, with its road-going performance secondary to the expression of historic design themes of the 1930s and 1950s. With a nod to its Italian roots, the Antis gets its name from the ancient Etruscan word for eagle. Actually Antis in translation from the Etruscan language means eagle. The one-off Antis V8 GT Supercar has a fin in the back, but its authors, who assembled a sports car by hand, know better what element their offspring belongs to. Luke Mazzandi and Walter Farley began with the restoration of rare and expensive cars. Cars worth several million dollars passed through their hands, for example, the Sicilia 202 and the Maserati 450 Coupe Zagato. Each car required manual labor and knowledge of the technology of the work of the Italian craftsmen who assembled these cars. Mazzandi and Farley have a lot of experience with hammers and scissors for metal, and no one will blame Italians for wanting to use it to build a car that bears the logo of their own company, the tradition must live on. The Antis V8 GT, the first independent work of the Lug Nano Restorers, is made in the style of the 60s. It is unlikely that its creators could imagine anything more perfect than these forms, which they reproduced in one form or another with their own hands over the course of several years. However, Antis can rightfully be called a car from the 60s, the technology of its production is no different from the one that was practiced almost half a century ago. Like the restored copies by Matsandi and Farley, Antis is unfamiliar with such a concept as computer modeling, it was literally created from scratch using a pencil. The car was drawn on a one, one scale, and it was the live drawing that served as the basis for the drawings. The process of building a car is clearly shown by a video posted by Farley and Matsandi on their website, a man armed with scissors and a hammer turned steel bars into an open work structure of the body frame, and aluminum sheets into gracefully curved fenders, bumpers, doors. Even the holes for the headlights are first outlined on the wings with a template and then cut out with scissors. In the workshop there is not a single automatic machine, only the simplest machines, which were probably used 50 years ago. Engine, Maserati gasoline 8 with a volume of 4.7 liters and a capacity of 310 horsepower. The cylinders are fed through four Weber carburetors and 421 newton meters of torque is transmitted to the rear wheels through a 5-speed ZF gearbox. Acceleration to 100 km, h takes 5 seconds, the maximum speed is over 270 km, h. High technologies have nevertheless touched the car, a prominent place in the interior, trimmed with beige leather and aluminum, is occupied by a liquid crystal screen, to which the image from the rear view camera is transmitted. Despite some foreignness of this modern device in the stylish interior, Antis seems to need it, in a coupe with a height of only 1.2 meters, a small rear window is divided in two, and the neck of the gas tank is cut into one half, covered with a shiny hatch from the outside. The fin starting on the roof and continuing to the bumper also does not contribute to visibility, pre-war cars flaunted with such. On Antis it performs not only an aerodynamic function, it has a built-in camera that transmits the image to the monitor in the cabin. The fin and the camera are not the only things in which the authors of the car change the given style. The ignition switch under the protective casing and the engine start button flew into an influx in the ceiling in front of the windshield, like in a combat helicopter. The rear crystal optics also breathes with modernity. Other details are more indicative of the vehicle's individuality and exclusivity. Thus. The Farley and Mazzanti logo plates are made of silver and gold by the jeweler Tonino Camilli di Arvito, the plate with the vehicle identification number on the transmission tunnel is also silver. The same plate, apparently as a souvenir, is adorned with blue velvet, which fits the box in which Intis comes to his owner. Estimated production volumes, as well as the price of the car, have not yet been announced. But there is no doubt that the first value will tend to zero as much as the second, to infinity.